Hello to my full site subscribers. Uh, quite excited today to just launch our latest campaign, which is a Posture Matters campaign. You should be able to see it when you log in. I've logged in as Lovely Cass, uh, my great contributor, my um, current staff editorial contributor. She is the one who writes a lot of these campaigns. And you can find this under, we've gone to the campaigns area, and we are going to just click on this edit button here. And let me just talk you very briefly through this campaign. As per usual, we have a whole bunch of social media posts pre-loaded with the text. And you just copy and paste that text into the Twitter and Facebook boxes as you want them. If there's any, as usual, that you don't want to run, you just click untick that active box. We have a slightly new feature here as well. You have now got the ability to disable the landing page. So this basically stops people when they click, there basically will be no link in the social media post to send them to your lead email lead collection form. Now I would caution you on doing this, on disabling it too often, because the whole point of this social media is to help you collect email leads and build your email newsletter list. So I would encourage you not to do this too often, but obviously it can get a little bit repetitive if all the posts always link to an email lead collection form. And originally I used to disable these for you, but we've decided to just move this up a level so that you can do it. And you can do it obviously by post. So be cautious in your use of that piece of functionality, but it's there for you should you wish to do that. So all you would do is literally tick that disable. This should have changed by the time you watch this video to disable email lead collection page. I think I've asked my developer just to change that for you. And when you click that, and when he's made these changes um, and click update, it will remove that lead collection URL from the piece of text. So that is basically what will happen. That is not exactly what happens right now, that it still leaves that lead collection URL in there, but it, it removes it when it actually posts it to the social network. So effectively, it is removing that, but I've asked him to just take it out of there so it's not confusing for you. So that is basically how that tick works. Uh, remember, this is a, an, a unique link to you that's merged in when that post is sent out to your social networks. So you don't need, you, as long as that URL is in there, then it will be your personalized email lead collection form that these people are taken to. So just to recap, the post goes out to your social network. Zup, it has a link in it. The viewer clicks that link and they will be taken to a lead collection form. And this is what the lead collection form for this campaign looks like. So they enter their details. There's a bit more of an explanation down here about why this is important to them and some of the resources that they can download. And remember, it will have your custom footer on the bottom of this page. I don't have a footer set up for this account for Kath, so you're not seeing anything there, but normally that would have your web links and your logo and anything else that you've put in that branding area. So they would fill out that form and then they, once they filled out their form, they will be sent to a page that looks like this, which is rather groovy. There are 19 or 20 different leaflets for this campaign. So this is why it's taken us a little bit longer than usual and they can download all the advice-based leaflets, so those are the kind of nicely designed ones are on this left-hand side, and all the exercise handouts are on this right-hand side. So let's just go and have a quick look at one of those. So just the usual thing, remember that your branding upgrade will appear under here. This is my default branding if there is no branding upgrade applied, so you would see your details there because your full site will include that element. Um, what else do I need to tell you? This is an example of one of the advice sheets. So as you can see, a bit more kind of design led um, and obviously not kind of an exercise handout. So that's the two distinctions between those two sets of resources. I think there's about 10 on each side. What else do I need to tell you? So let's go back to this campaign. I think there are about 45 or 50 different social media posts for this campaign. So there's a lot of content in there. There's seven animations in this one as well, uh, which are quite fun. And let's be just let's run one of these. So 
so that just gives you a little bit of an idea there's the seven different animations in here as well let me just scroll very quickly to the bottom this will probably let me just do it very briefly because there's two things I need to point out to you so this is usually my last post which is a kind of image of all the different leaflets and it kind of says this is your last chance to download them now underneath this post there are two more posts which are relevant to you specifically as a full site subscriber one is the customer newsletter so what the intention with this is that you put in your link to the newsletter campaign so let me just remind you of that um, I don't want to whiz back up the page again hang on let me just open this in a new tab whenever you whiz around on tabs it's a bit disconcerting and makes everybody a bit dizzy so let me just go back to the campaigns a minute you will see last month I released this an updated version of this grow your newsletter email list let me just go into that very briefly and just explain so this is a generic grow your email newsletter campaign and if you copy that let me show you what I mean if you copy that URL it takes them to a sort of standard page saying sign up to our newsletter so this is a sort of generic campaign that you can use to sign up to your newsletter so you could put this for example in your website if you have any anywhere that you want to encourage people to sign up to your newsletter as a more general thing so it's not specifically about a campaign in particular it's just a more general sign up to, me, to your email newsletter you can use this campaign and let me just show you what happens so I've updated this page here as well so now these are all branded all these leaflets are branded and these link specifically to the newsletter that went with each campaign so there's nearly always not every single time but nine times out of ten there is a customer newsletter with each of our campaigns and this is now an updated page which we will update each time we add a new newsletter and as you can see the last one here is your posture one so this is just a nice kind of way of giving them access to all the previous newsletters that you've published in the past or we have published on your behalf so they've got the posture one there they click on that and that would open that specific newsletter so what I'm saying in context with the current campaign the posture campaign is that you want to give them a link to this newsletter sign up page so it's this link it's this lead collection URL that you want to give them a link to so it's this page that you're trying to send them to so each of our topic specific campaigns will have a post which says here's our latest newsletter and I'm suggesting that you send them to this page for that newsletter so that is the link that you would copy and you would replace the text in here with that link so for example you would just do this um, you don't copy the bit in square brackets because that's my instruction to you and you would just say something like you can sign up to this and our other newsletters at this link so hopefully that makes sense and obviously you would then put that in here as well and in this case you would disable the landing page URL because you don't want them to go to the URL the lead collection page for this campaign you want them to go to this specific link so if you click update and that is how you manage that one if you don't want that piece of media to fire then obviously you can deactivate it so that's your call and then there's one other thing here I would encourage you to leave that personally but but uh, that's your your choice and there's another one here which you also need to do something for this is if you decide to publish the blog post that I provide you or any blog post on posture for example if you've already published one previously you can add your URL to that blog post in here so if you would need to go to your website you would find the link on your website for that blog post that you wanted to link to and again as I did in the in the post above you would add that link in here if you don't have your own blog then I provide you with a hosted version of one so if you don't want to use this at all and you're not interested in the blog post just deactivate this same with the custom newsletter one above but there's not much point in you deactivating that one this is a, that's a good one to run so this is only this one really if you don't if you're not interested in the blog posts 
just turn this off. If you have your own blog on your own website and you go and go and use the blog content that I give you, create that blog post and get the link and put it in here. And if you don't have any ability to publish a blog post on your own website, then there is another solution. Let me just whiz back up the page because I create a hosted version for you. So let me whiz up there without giving you, making you feel ill. So under the other content, I create a hosted blog post for you. And you can edit this, it's fully editable as I think you probably know, there's, a pre there's other videos on how to do this. We've written the blog post for you. If you click update just to load the blog post in the first place and click preview, then you will see a blog post. Now, don't worry about this uh, border. My developer is, is fixing this. We made a change on another page and it's gone onto these blog posts. But when you view this, the text should be correctly lined up underneath this image. So this is your hosted blog post and you need to go and get the URL for that here. So you can copy that and you can put that in that piece of campaign media if you don't have the ability to publish your blog post yourself. So you would just copy that link, you'd paste it in here and you can go and shorten this if you wanted to use this on Bitly, you could go and do that and you could then just copy this text for example and put that in ahead of there and that would work fine. <clears throat> so that link will be your personal blog post hosted on our website. So hopefully that is all clear. Okay, sorry about the little dog interruption. The dustmen are outside and Looper thinks that's very good fun to bark at them. So shut your eyes while I whiz back up the page. This is all your social media. Other things that I need to point out to you, obviously you know that any leads that are collected through your social networks come into this leads tab. I haven't obviously run this, so there's nothing there at the moment. Your email autoresponder is under this tab as per usual and usual videos on how this works apply. But obviously I have written this email for you. Let me put a space in there and click update. And you can edit this. You need to activate it when you turn it on, but you can edit everything in here. Let's preview and see what that looks like. So that is basically what the email would look like. It would merge their first name into this field here and it gives them a link where they can go and re-download those leaflets should they wish to. So that's how the email, the autoresponder email works. Remember this does unfortunately quite often end up in a spam folder unless somebody has decided to whitelist it. So we are trying to put some measures in place but it's very difficult unless you run a fully bespoke email platform, marketing platform, sometimes the email spam filters are getting better and better at picking up stuff and throwing them in spam and so we are doing what we can to get around that. But obviously this is really only a backup because they will have already filled out that form and been delivered to their leaflets anyway. So it's really just a sort of second opportunity to reinforce your presence. And then let me quickly take you to the main content area and let's go and have a quick look here. So as per usual you've got all your zip files, this one has a PowerPoint presentation, you've got your Instagram and LinkedIn images, your nurture email text and images and your blog post text and images and then the promotional material like the posters and leaflets and everything else. I will put the video in there so that you have that. Let me show you, here are all the PDFs, as you can see, that go with this campaign. So, as I say, 22 or so. And this is where you get your MailChimp Nurture email template. So if you have a MailChimp account and you're planning to send your Nurture email out of MailChimp, then go and log into your MailChimp account and then click on that link and it will one click and it will pull it straight into your MailChimp account. Various help links under here as per usual. And you can use these links here to jump backwards and forwards to help you get things set up. So this link will take you back to the campaign area where you've got your social media and the blog post and the email and autoresponder and everything. This link under here will take you to the customizable landing page that comes with this campaign. So remember, this is a web page that you can edit 
and it takes you to the setup area and let's just go and have a quick look under landing page I'm just going to click update and preview so that you can see what that page looks like now remember this page is designed for you to be able to edit and then you can you can run any kind of conversion event or any kind of um, assessment or anything that you want to off the back of this campaign all of this text you can you can change by editing that setup area so all of these things you, you can put your own text in here let me just show you tours text in here typos and everything click update click preview let's go back to that sometimes it does throw you back onto the setup tab click preview and you can see tools text in here so this is quite a cool little feature and if you want to run any kind of event off your posture campaign then this is where you would tell them what to do and as per the tutorials you can change these calls to action make them telephone you or do whatever send them to a booking form, online booking form, whatever you'd like to do, separate help videos to help you do all of that. So this is only really designed to, to explain how this campaign works. So I think that's pretty much it. I don't think there's anything else I need to tell you. Quick links to all of the leaflets here. This explains exactly what's in each of the zip files. Uh, let me just go and show you quickly around those. So here's the blog post text and images so I've given you some Facebook images that are specific to your blog post if you want to use those I've given you some also some square images so these are sort of Instagram sized versions of those images let me just move those in you've got I've just given you a bunch of different images really that you can use with this blog post um, and you've got also the blog post here as a word file and you've got a banner as well that you can use and all sorts of bits and pieces and under the email same kind of thing there's a banner for the email and this is where your text is if you don't use MailChimp and you don't want to use that one click import social media images are the resized images for Instagram and LinkedIn so you'll find those under there that's a zip file obviously when you download it from our site PowerPoint presentation is there that is about 50 slides I believe with some help for you on slides that you can use to run an education event and here's your promotional material so you've got an A6 leaflet with and without bleeds if you'd like to get them professionally printed so this is a sorry A5 leaflet here is an A6 postcard again we've given you those with bleeds and without bleeds depending on whether you want to get them professionally printed <laughs> sorry and these are the posters in A1, A3 and A4 again with and without bleeds so I think that brings us to the conclusion and the dog's going to conclude for us anyway but I hope that's useful guys and thank you again for your support through your subscription cheers guys